Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge. And today in this video, I'll be doing the unboxing and we shall have a first look and my initial impressions of the new Apple M1 iPad Pro. So this is the base variant of the iPad Pro guys, which is around 71,900 rupees. And this is the silver color in 8GB, 128GB Wi-Fi only model. I bought it from Flipkart guys. I just got it delivered today and I have been playing around with this device for quite some time now. And here is my first impressions along with the unboxing of this product. As you can see, it says Apple iPad Pro 11 inch third generation. I did not opt for the 12.9 inch guys because it is too big for my preference. As you can see, it mentions the 71,900 rupees pulling up the tab and let me quickly open the seal of this package and go inside the box package of the iPad Pro. The unboxing experience of Apple devices actually excites me so much. Quickly pulling over this tab from the iPad Pro box guys, as we can see here we have the iPad Pro itself with the help of this pull tab, you can easily lift the device. If you guys don't know, most of these smartphone companies today copy Apple's uh, philosophy of using that pull tab in order to make sure that you can you know open these devices easily from the box. Let me quickly keep this to the side so that we can take a look at other things inside the box. And the most important thing is this charger because we get a charger that is a huge thing. It is a 20 watt charging adapter guys and also we get this USB type C to type C cable. So both ends are type C and this device actually supports uh, the Thunderbolt port at the bottom so that you can connect to any external devices uh, uh, with a lot of speed. And this is a 20 watt charger with the help of which you can charge fast as well. And we have some, uh, you know, booklets guys. These are some booklets with the help of which we can understand about this product. There are people who buy these products and they do not know how to operate. This is some warranty information. And the most important thing is this Apple stickers. And we get the silver color Apple stickers because we have bought the silver color product and if you buy the space gray product you will get the space gray apple stickers guys let me keep this uh, to the side and here is the apple ipad pro in m1 so this is the base model guys i just opted for the 11 inch and i just opted for the base model because uh, rest of the models are too expensive for my preference and this product actually served my purpose as you can see we have ipad that is written over there and we have the magnetic connectors and this is made up of complete aluminium guys it feels extremely cold to the touch and it is outstanding in terms of build quality the first look at this device made me mesmerize about the quality of this product guys it is outstanding and this device actually is very lightweight you know and i'm actually surprised about the weight on this device on paper it weighs around 460 ish grams so let me quickly go ahead and set up this device guys selecting my region selecting my language and everything one important thing about the apple setup process is that probably apple is the only you know brand in terms of the handheld devices manufacturing which makes the setup process easiest so if you have an old apple device or an ipad or an iphone you can just bring your old device to the new device and you can scan this pattern over here like this and automatically your new ipad gets set up with the help of your old iPad just by the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi connection that it has been connected to. So if your old device is near to your new device, you will have to just enter your password and everything will be downloaded from your old device. You don't have to even enter the passwords guys. That is so, so good. And this is the Face ID. It is one of the most secure uh, authentication mechanism that is present on any handheld device. It uses the dot projector, flood deluminator, infrared scanner, front camera to recognize your face, lock and unlock this device. And right after I unboxed the product, I got a software update of Apple iPad OS 14.6. So guys, uh, here is the iPad Pro M1 and I have been uh, using this tablet for around a day or so now and the overall quality of this material that has been used in terms of making this product is fantastic. It is an aluminium finish all in all and it has a glass front and complete aluminium back. We have magnets that is present over here guys which helps you to attach the magic keyboard. We have a surface that is present over here with the help of which we can attach the Apple Pencil as well and over here we have two buttons with the help of which we can control the volume and we have the power button that is present over here when we talk about the build and finish of this it is fantastic but i actually recommend you to use a tempered glass and back case i will be bringing two separate videos where i'll be explaining you guys a budget tempered glass and also a back case for this uh, device that is the ipad pro m1 as you can see the face id is present all over here guys the face id works in both the orientations that is both in the landscape mode and also in the portrait mode it works as you can see we are in the portrait mode right now and if i go to the landscape landscape mode 
Face ID works in landscape mode also. So the Face ID is fantastic guys. It is one of the fastest authentication methods that you can find on any smartphone or any handheld device, which is a fantastic thing. And this is a typical iPad OS interface. I've made down a few notes about what I want to talk about this device. This device actually runs on the Apple's default M1 processor. So as you can see, it has the Apple's M1 chipset. This is the same chip that is present on the Apple's MacBook Air, the Apple's MacBook Pro, and also the latest iMac as well, which is fantastic. It is also present on the Mac mini and also it has the 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 GB of storage. Apple doesn't reveal the RAM and storage options for their devices. Luckily we have the RAM and storage option that is available from Apple side and this is one of the fastest or one of the most powerful handheld devices that you can find or if I can quote this I think this is the most powerful handheld device that you can find on the planet. I have run a few tests as you can see graphic test one we got around 58 frames per second 57 frames per second and we also run the 3D mark test this is the result guys as you can see 18,296 is the overall score that we have got in the uh, wildlife unlimited test and also this is a, a fantastic device for day-to-day -day transactions and also high performance things such as gaming and uh, continuous usage of google chrome with multiple tabs open and some things like that in terms of power and raw performance i think this is one of the most powerful devices available out there when we talk about the cameras this device actually has a double camera setup at the back which is a 12 megapixel normal camera and a 10 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and also we have a lidar scanner with this is the mic and also we have the flash that is present and also on the front we have a 12 megapixel camera that is present over here in this surface this is a 12 megapixel camera which has that center stage feature when we talk about the camera quality of this device it is fine it is good for an ipad level camera it is not as good as a smartphone camera that we find but for an ipad this is fantastic guys i have taken a few camera samples and also i have played around with the center stage feature i can easily say that this is a very good camera for a tablet so when we talk about the camera at the back we have an f 1.8 aperture for the normal camera which also supports the dual pixel uh, face detection autofocus and the second camera that is the ultra wide angle camera is an f 2.4 aperture with a 125 degree field of view and the lidar scanner we all know acts as the time of flight scanner to take the depth information and help in the ar related stuffs and some things like that the front camera has a 12 megapixel resolution with f 2.4 aperture with a 122 degree field of view so that means it is a 122 degree field of view this is what it helps in uh, taking that sense center stage feature which is one of the most powerful or one of the most important features when we talk about productivity because these days we take a lot of video calls a lot of conferences that uh, that happens on video and this feature is something that is very very important i think this is a game changing feature guys as you can see i'm doing a test on the face time application and this center stage feature works fantastic wherever you go the front camera of this device detects the position and actually follows you and it is one of the most useful features that i have seen on smart phones these days and the center stage feature also works on the zoom and google meet applications guys i have tested with zoom and google meet as well the center stage feature is working perfectly fine and the next important feature about the apple ipad pro m1 is about the bezels and display guys this is an 11 inch display that is present on this device guys it is actually a liquid retina ips lcd display with a 120 hertz high refresh rate it has a hdr 10 support and also has dolby vision support and typical brightness is around 600 nits screen to power Body ratio is around 83% guys that is the screen to body ratio that is available amount of bezels is very good when you are playing games it will be very helpful to hold in both the landscape orientation and the portrait orientation to play games and also when we talk about the resolution it is 2380 cross 1668 resolution guys and also it has the oleophobic coating and also scratch resistant glass and also has the support for true tone true tone is something that i really don't like on apple devices whether it is a macbook or an iphone or an ipad i actually turn off true tone because with true tone it makes the display look yellowish which i don't like and i turn off true tone and now it looks cool and the temperature of the display becomes a little bit cool this is actually an octa core cpu and also an eight core gpu as i said earlier it helps in one of the most powerful performance on any device when we are talking about the display on this device let me quickly play back a 4k video for you guys as you can see when i go to youtube i can play back video up to 4k resolution over here as you can see the quality of display is fantastic it also supports the dolby vision whichever video supports dolby vision and whichever video supports HDR, it can play back in both the configurations, which is a fantastic and it makes day and night difference in terms of the quality of the video. The next important thing about this device is with respect to the sound and speakers on this device. This device has one of the best speakers on any device that I have seen because we have four speakers from four grills that is present. As you can see, we have four grills that is present on this surface, right? This is the first grill, second grill and on the top surface also we have two grills present. This is one of the best speakers on any smartphone or on any tablet that I have seen guys 
let me quickly play a music for you guys so that you can understand how good is these speakers on this device So as you guys just saw the quality of speakers on this device is outstanding this is one of the best speakers that i have heard on any device guys it also has the dolby atmos support and also it has the spatial audio support as well now let's talk about the physical dimensions of this device this device actually is a wi-fi only model we also have a wi-fi plus cellular model which actually supports 5g and a lot of bands are supported here in india as well and this wi-fi only model actually weighs around 466 grams when you hold this device it feels really really lightweight it doesn't feel like a heavy device at all it is cold to the touch because of the aluminium sides and the aluminium that back that is present when we talk about the thickness it is just 6.4 millimeters and it is fantastic it is just 6.4 millimeters guys when we talk about the microphones uh, here we have three different microphones that is present one two three different microphones and also we have a microphone that is present on this surface and it gives a richer audio experience when you are taking the video calls on zoom or facetime or google meet now let's talk about the most important port that is the usb type c port no this is not a USB type C port. This is a Thunderbolt port. So what is a Thunderbolt port? Thunderbolt port is like basically an Apple's proprietary name for the USB type C port, which supports faster data transfers on your devices. So that's a very basic explanation. One important thing is this Thunderbolt port is just like what we see on our MacBook computers, which helps in extremely fast data transfers. And it also supports the power delivery. And also it has the support for a lot of SSDs and other gadgets that you can directly attach to this and start editing directly from the SSDs. So now now let's talk about the ipad os that is running let me go to the settings and let me go to general and uh, software as you can see we are running on the latest ipad os 14.6 i got an update right after i unboxed the product guys this is a typical ipad os guys and i think one of the most important things that everybody is speaking online about this device is with respect to the software bottleneck even though this device is so powerful and so uh, breathtaking in terms of performance the software on this device that is the ipad os is making it uh, you know a bottleneck because it may be applicable applications that is present on our computer like the Final Cut Pro and full-fledged iMovie uh, and the applications such as Android Studio, Sublime Text, uh, it may be minimal ADB and fast boot and a lot of other applications uh, which are present on our typical desktops is not present on this iPad Pro just because uh, it is an iPad OS and they do not want it to make it like an Mac computer. If they make this iPad OS as a Mac computer, nobody will buy a Mac computer, right? Nobody will buy a MacBook, you know, iMac or something. So that's why they are limiting themselves uh, to make sure that this stands somewhere in between the iPhones iOS and the MacBooks Mac OS and we have the WWDC on June 7th and I'm damn sure they are not going to bring the full-fledged support like the finder on our computers on our Mac computers or the control center on our Mac computers everything what we are seeing now will remain the same there will be slight amount of changes that will be present amount of hardware that is present on this device is actually capped by the software hardware is here and software is here so in order to make sure that this device has complete utilization of what power it has the software needs to match with with the hardware so that is something that apple needs to take care of quickly so this device actually supports the apple pencil you can just put it over here and also supports the magic keyboard these two are the accessories which i do not use guys reason why i bought the 11 inch model so the first important reason why i bought the 11 inch model is because i have a 13 inch computer and also i have a 15 and 16 inch laptops as well as you can see this is my old ipad guys this is my old ipad 6 generation this is the ipad pro and i wanted something which is as small and handy as this device so i didn't want it a large size computer and second thing i didn't buy the 12.9 inch device is because the mini led is the first generation product mini led that is used on that device is first generation and i've seen on a lot of reddit forums that uh, people have started complaining about the mini led issues uh, such as burning in issues and the light bleeding from the edges for that specific reason i did not buy the 12.9 uh, inches ipad and another important thing i just wanted to talk with you guys about is uh, with respect to the 120 hertz refresh rate display that is present on this device on my previous ipad the refresh rate was 60 hertz and on almost all the other apple devices the refresh rate is 60 hertz this device has a 120 hertz display and yes it feels extremely smooth guys when i was just browsing through google chrome and on other sites uh, just like twitter or facebook or reddit it feels extremely smooth in order to change the 120 hertz to 60 hertz to save battery or something you will actually have to go to settings over here and go to accessibility and when you go to accessibility go to motion and here there is something called as limit frame rate if you want to change the frame 
frame rate or if you want to change the refresh rate from 120 to 60 you will have to go to limit frame rate and reduce that but why would you do that because the battery life on this device is exceptional and i just want to experience the 120 hertz and it is silky smooth and buttery smooth and with that m1 chipset apple's optimization and this 120 hertz hardware it feels like the device is flying through everything so guys the next important thing that i wanted to talk about the ipad pro is with respect to the gaming test guys because this device is so powerful uh, it is actually bound to make a gaming test on our initial impressions right Call of Duty has been successfully loaded guys. I'll just go to the graphics guys. Here is the graphics that is present and in terms of the graphics and performance, let me go to audio and graphics. As you can see in the graphics quality, we have high graphics and high frame rates. When I set to very high graphics, the frame rates actually come down to high and when I go to max, max frame rate, it will be set to high graphic quality. Very high graphic quality and very high frame rate. Depth of field is something that I turn on and dynamic, yes. So everything is turned on guys. This is the layout I use on almost all my devices that is also on my previous iPad this is the layout that i was using let me finish the team deathmatch so that i can quickly finish the game and show you guys how is the performance on this device tangle down advised hostile hunter killer drone inbound changing man get back up be advised hostile sentry got spotted hostile sentry got in your ao Package inbound. So guys, I played Call of Duty Mobile on the iPad Pro for around 5 to 10 minutes and my goodness, the device is fantastic in terms of pulling off Call of Duty at very high graphics and very high frame rate. I think they need to optimize for the maxed out frame rates and the maxed out graphic quality. I'm damn sure the device can pull it off. Also, I'm just waiting for Battleground Mobile India, that is the Indian version of PUBG to come uh, so that we can play that game also and I'll be bringing the gaming reviews on this device as well. So stay tuned for that. And what is my initial impressions on this device? Initial impressions are great because I'm upgrading from an old ipad 6 generation this had become a little bit slow i wanted that raw processing power of m1 to be experienced on this device and also i wanted this speakers and the quality of the screen so that i can watch all the uh, content on the ipad i don't watch any content on my smartphone i just buy smartphones and uh, sell it off after the review is done and my go-to device in terms of media or entertainment is ipad so i just want the best in class experience in terms of the quality of speakers and in terms of quality of the screen and the smoothness and also in terms of gaming so these are one of the top four requirements that i wanted on an ipad so i'll keep you guys posted with respect to more videos on the ipad pro m1 guys if you guys have not subscribed to the youtube channel you have to hit that subscribe button right now and that's it for this video guys if you guys have liked this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting and amazing content like this one thank you for watching guys